Prince Harry arrived for a second day doing battle with the tabloid press and in particular the Mirror Newspapers group. This is a very personal crusade which he now describes as his life's work. He repeatedly insisted that the only possible source of these stories was through phone hacking. So it's almost impossible for an individual to take a newspaper to court because of the huge amount of money involved, right? It costs millions of pounds, right? So what, what Prince Harry is doing, he's a, a representative of all of these claimants who could never afford to get to court, and that's what he's doing. But for a man who's recently released a money-making autobiography and given multiple television interviews spilling the dirt on his famous family squabbles, is Harry's demand to hold the newspapers to account really a case of breathtaking hypocrisy? Welcome back to Pop Culture HQ. Today, we're delving into the legal battle involving Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Harry is currently embroiled in a legal battle against Mirror Group News Groups, accusing them of phone hacking and intrusion of privacy. Testifying in London's High Court, Harry expressed his deep frustration with the tabloid press, highlighting the impact their actions have had on his personal life and mental health. The trial, which began on May 10th, has significant implications for both the British media landscape and the rights of public figures to privacy. In his 55-page witness statement, Prince Harry shed light on the toil that intrusive media coverage has taken on his life. He emphasized that throughout his relationships, family dynamics, and experiences as a public figure, the tabloid press has consistently been a third party, exploiting his challenges and mental health struggles for their own gain. Citing the tragic car crash that claimed the life of his mother, Princess Diana, and the press's treatment of his wife, Meghan Markle. Look, I was really ashamed to say it at the time and ashamed to have to admit it to Harry, especially. Um, because I know how much loss he suffered. Mm -hmm. But I knew that if I didn't say it, that I would do it. And I, I just didn't, I just didn't want to be alive anymore. Harry condemned the tabloid's actions as criminal. MGN, the publisher of the Daily Mirror, Sunday Mirror, and Sunday People, is the defendant in the lawsuit. Harry alleges that these tabloids obtained private information about him through phone hacking or other illegal methods. The trial is examining 33 articles published between 1996 and 2010 containing details about Harry's personal life, travel plans, relationships, and disagreements with Prince William. His legal team argues that intercepted voicemails served as the basis for some of these reports, causing Harry to experience paranoia, depression, and emotional distress. Harry's case is part of a larger legal action against MGN, with over 100 individuals accusing the publisher of unlawful information gathering. MGN acknowledged paying a private investigator 75 euros to unlawfully gather information on Harry at a London nightclub in 2004. The publisher issued an apology and expressed willingness to compensate Harry for that specific incident. However, MGN denies hacking Harry's phone and contends that some stories may have been originated from sources within the palace or other legitimate sources. After two days of cross-examination, Prince Harry's testimony in the MGN case has concluded. The trial is expected to wrap up later this month. However, Harry's legal battles aren't over. He has filed separate lawsuits against Newsgroup Newspapers, which publishes The Sun and Associated Newspapers Limited, which publishes The Daily Mail and Mail Online. Both publishers deny any wrongdoing, and further hearings and judgments are anticipated in the coming months. Prince Harry's fight against tabloid intrusion and for privacy rights carries significant implications. His case challenges the balance between press freedom and the rights of public figures to a reasonable expectation of privacy. The outcome of these lawsuits could shape future legislation and regulations surrounding media ethics and accountability. 
as the first senior royal to provide evidence in court in over 140 years, Harry's stance has drawn attention to the potentially damaging effects of tabloid intrusion and the need for greater media accountability. Let's take a look at Prince Harry's early life. Prince Harry, born Henry Charles Albert David, has spent his entire life in the public eye. From a young age, he has faced relentless media scrutiny and intrusion into his personal life. As a member of the British royal family, Harry's experiences have been closely documented, leading to a complicated relationship with the media. Prince Harry was born on September 15, 1984, as the younger son of Prince Charles and Princess Diana. His childhood unfolded in the midst of intense media attention, with paparazzi relentlessly pursuing his mother, Princess Diana. Tragically, in 1997, Princess Diana died in a car crash while being chased by paparazzi in Paris. The loss of his mother deeply impacted Harry, and he has since blamed the media's intrusion for her untimely demise. As Prince Harry grew older, his interactions with the media became increasingly contentious. The media often depicted him as the rebel prince, emphasizing his partying and occasional lapses in judgment. Harry's actions drew widespread attention and scrutiny, fueling headlines and sensationalizing narratives. Despite his charitable endeavors and commitment to public service, he found it challenging to escape the media's negative portrayal. Princess Diana's death profoundly shaped Prince Harry's perception of the media. He witnessed firsthand the invasive tactics employed by the paparazzi, which ultimately contributed to the tragedy. Harry's resentment towards the press grew as he witnessed the impact of media intrusion on his family, particularly his mother. This tragic event instilled in him a determination to protect his loved ones and himself from similar intrusions. Prince Harry's relationship with actress Meghan Markle brought a new level of media attention and scrutiny. The couple's courtship and subsequent marriage attracted significant public interest, both in the UK and abroad. The media's relentless coverage took a toll on Meghan, resulting in a deteriorating mental health condition. Harry, determined to shield his wife and future family from the media's relentless intrusion, embarked on a mission to protect their privacy and well-being. In January 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made their unprecedented decision to step back from their roles as senior members of the British royal family. The couple cited their desire for a more private life away from the constant media scrutiny as a driving factor. They relocated to the United States and sought to redefine their relationship with the press on their own terms. Prince Harry's current legal battles against various media organizations signify his unwavering commitment to protect his privacy and that of his family. He has filed lawsuits against publishers, alleging phone hacking and illegal gathering of personal information. Harry's determination to hold the media accountable reflects a broader effort to challenge the intrusive practices that have plagued his life and the lives of other public figures. Prince Harry's ongoing legal battle against Mirror Group newspapers and other media organizations serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of privacy and accountability in the media landscape. His testimony sheds light on the intrusive practices that have plagued his life and the lives of other public figures. By challenging tabloid intrusion, Prince Harry is advocating for a more responsible and ethical media industry, where the rights and well-beings of individuals are respected. The outcome of these lawsuits has the potential to shape future legislation and regulations, making this a critical moment in the fight for privacy rights and media reform. That wraps up our coverage of Prince Harry's current and ongoing legal battles with the media. What do you think about the media coverage of Harry and Meghan? Let us know in the comments section below. And subscribe to Pop Culture HQ for more updates on Meghan and Harry and other celebrities in Hollywood.